today we are going to uh, talk about fibroids and its implications in gynecology and also in infertility first of all what are fibroids fibroids are nothing but a muscular tumor which is arising uh, from the uterine wall uh, in between uh, up to the fundus up to the cervix but uh, what are the types so usually they are subserous submucous or intramural how it impacts the infertility and the life of a woman generally it arises in the reproductive age group aging from 21 to 35 or even up to 45 but when it is coming how it impacts it's mainly because of the estrogen it is arising so whenever the estrogen excess is it the fibroids grow so during uh, adolescent age group if they are uh, having high excessive uh, estrogen amount then the fibroids are grow during the reproductive age group again the fibroids will grow during pregnancy as the pregnancy increases the fibroids also increase and uh, after the delivery the fibroids shrink so during that period if there is no complications for the pregnancy then the fibroids can be left alone for infertility specifically which is of our interest for infertility it is mainly one of the reason for recurrent pregnancy losses so when it is located inside the uterus or within the layers of the muscular wall of the uterus we should remove them if they are really big even if it is staying outside sometimes it may cause tubal distortion so we have to remove them also so whether all the fibers should be removed we should ask the question so if the fibers are multiple and they are very very small if they are not affecting the cavity then we can just leave them alone if really they are causing hindrance to the tubal uh, patency or in the uterine implantation we have to think of removing them what are the treatment options treatment options can be medical injectables and surgical medical options again if they are not planning for pregnancy recently or if they are planning little later they can wait for some more time then medical management can be opted medical management includes both medicine and injections but all this medicines again it will delay the pregnancy and the once the six months or nine months if you are giving the medicine we should give a break then again the fibroids may grow once they grow they have to be again controlled with medicines if the patient doesn't have bleeding or any pain then we can leave them alone for some more time if really they are planning for pregnancy we should treat with them surgically 